What doesn't kill you? What doesn't kill you gives you the XP to level up. Hey Sam, yes. you stole my copy of Microsoft Office. You're gonna pay for that. You have my word. What doesn't kill you had better start running. What doesn't kill you will go on to steal your wallet, your identity, and your Pokemon collection. We asked you what scent your favorite song has, and over half of you told us that it smells of a thunderstorm. All of that ozone going on up there, building a feeling of anticipation, like something's just waiting to happen. It smells earthy, alive, and fresh. Y'all must listen to some really sick music. Well, weekend at the Himalayas, uh, the, the famous mountaineer died and his children decided that, you know, that's no reason for him to stop climbing mountains. So they strapped pickaxes to his arms and legs and flung him up a mountain. Nice. Drunken Heroes, on the other hand, it turns a night out drinking with your friends into an RPG experience. You know, somebody like me that doesn't really drink much still has something to do, but it also it adds a little bit of colour into your evening. Awesome. And what's your favourite thing? The poses. I mean, you're shooting a rag doll up a mountain. Sometimes the poses are just hilarious. I have to stop playing, pause it, and just laugh sometimes. Oh, well, they're both out on iOS and Android at the same time. Uh, Weekend at the Himalayas is totally free. Nice. And how much does Drunken Heroes cost? Only $1.99. That's pretty cheap. And the good thing is, only one person needs to have Drunken Heroes for your whole group to play. My game. It's difficult to describe. It's a first person text adventure hybrid where you have like a static camera that you use mouse look style controls to, to look around a scene and whatever you're facing I give you a text description of. And there's positional audio so you hear things move around you as you look around. Um, and yeah, that's, that's more or less the nuts and bolts of it I guess. I love the way that it can give you a sense of place. It can make you feel like you're you're there. If you're at the lake, for example, that I, I've noticed from game logs that people seem to linger at the lake, and I think it's because people just kind of like being there and hearing the waterfall in the distance, and maybe skipping stones on the lake if they decide to do that. You know, I dig that. I'm hoping to release it in 2017, but I'm not 100% sure that's going to happen. So if not late this year, then hopefully early next. Awesome. And I hear that you've got a demo of this engine with a different game on itch.io. I have a demo of this game on itch.io nice. and several other games using this engine on itch.io. Uh, Dusk is a retro shooter. If you like games like Quake and Blood and Redneck Rampage and Hexen and Heretic and Half-Life and Duke 3D, Shadow Warrior and I don't know, all those things, and you like furries, then you'll like Dusk. Uh, you have complete control, I think that's what I like the best. Uh, you know, not only can you bunny hop and rocket jump, there's no Y axis, you can flip around, uh, there's crazy momentum, and uh, yeah, you have complete control. There are tons of enemies, they have strength in numbers, but you have absolute complete control. You can even slide, which we like. You can get Dusk on Steam for the low, low price of $20. $20 now, $20 forever. What doesn't kill you will probably try again later.